Evening, everybody. Both of Winnipeg's big professional sports teams were in action tonight. We'll get to the Jets in a minute. First, the Bombers completed a home-and-away showdown with the Toronto Argonauts tonight. The Bombers humbled the Argos 25-9 last weekend at Winnipeg Stadium. Well, the boatmen couldn't salvage any pride in the Sky Dome tonight as the Bombers clinched first place in the East with a 21-16 win. Here's a recap of the highlights from our telecast here on CKND earlier this evening. Tom Burgess and the Bomber offense got off to a shaky start. Their first foray into scoring position misfires when James Murphy and Reggie Pleasant have to swap roles. Murphy looking like the defensive back, Pleasant the receiver. That was an interception. The Argos built a 9-0 lead on three field goals by Lance Chomick. Most were set up by long punt returns from Mike Clemens. The Argos getting a great chance for six when the Bombers were called offside on one other field goal attempt. But Clemens can't catch up to Ricky Foggy's pass in wide open land. The Bombers finally got rolling late in the second quarter. After gambling successfully on a third and two, Robert Mims finds a big hole on third and one from the Argo seven. The Bombers are on the board, 9-7. Foggy got hurt. He's replaced by John Congemi, and Greg Battle gets an interception out of that. It set up a field goal for Trevor Kennard to make it 10-9 Winnipeg at the half. The Bombers go out in front, 17-9 in the third quarter. Burgess finding Eric Streeter on a down and out in the corner. They led 20-9 after another field goal by Kennard. Things starting to come apart for the Argos as even Chomick and their field goal unit, their only offense to this point in the game, failed to cap off this drive in the third quarter. It remained 20-9. Now, late in the game, the Bombers leading 21-9. Any hope of a late comeback by the Argos is snuffed out by Rod Hill with the interception down by the goal line. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers clinch first place in the East and home field advantage for the Eastern Final with a 21-16 victory over the Toronto Argonauts. The Boatmen finally managed the TD in the final minute way too little, way too late. And in case you didn't know, the Grey Cup is in Vancouver this year. Albert Williams had three sacks for the Bombers tonight. Here's what he had to say following the game. The real key was the fact that Foggy got hurt. You know, he's really an excellent quarterback, and uh, he was hurting us, you know, before he went out. Yeah, Congemi not nearly as mobile makes it a little bit easier for you people. Oh, yes, that's for sure. Your defense is really in sync. Is there one or two things you could point to for why you're playing so well defensively? I would say it's just enthusiasm and swarming to the ball. I mean, everybody's trying to get in on every play. And you've got some veterans back there like Battle and Ty Jones, who I'm sure show you young guys around a little bit. Oh, yeah, they teach us the tricks. Football was the order, of the order of the day here. Our Game of the Week telecast from University Stadium had the Manitoba Bisons hosting the Calgary Dinosaurs. The herd ran out of gas in the second half, and the Dinos pulled away to a 32-15 victory. Here are some of those highlights.